So yeah, I guess it's time to figure out the matchups, right? I, I'm gonna make a suggestion here, okay? Let's uh, try to get, get like the worst matchups away right, right from the get-go, okay? I might change it later on to be 4-6, but let's just put it in the... Or let's put everything that is clearly a bad matchup in the 4-6 category as a start, okay? These two, probably the worst ones. I think Guile is bad. I think Chun-Li is actually not good for Ryu. Let's put her there as well. And I think uh, after this, after we, we are done with this, um, this is going to be a great way to uh, uh, do a tier list for the entire cast. Like how strong is everyone, okay? I think that would be really interesting to see, especially after looking at the matchup chart. Because I think the matchup chart is uh, going to be a good indication for why I think Ryu is not that strong this season. But let, let's let's just uh, focus on Ryu for now and his matchup spread uh, and see what we can do, okay? So what's actually a good matchup? Is there actually a good matchup? I think even matchups that could be considered good for Ryu, like Honda, I think even those matchups are actually just even. I don't think Honda is a great matchup. I think Blanca is potentially even, maybe Blanca like a bit of a slightly in Ryu's favor, but not by much. It's certainly more on the side of even um, instead of like 6-4, right? Prize Aki isn't a 3-7. I might change it later on, as I said. Ken is even. I think Manor is even. I think JP is bad. I think Kami is even. I think Zangief is bad. I think Bison is bad. I think Luke. Luke. Now, every time I play a confident, like a really good Luke with good footsies, it's very difficult to beat them. But maybe it's just because I've not played many. So, let's just call it even for now. I think it's probably in Luke's favor, but I don't want to call it a bad matchup. I don't know what's up with Kimberly, by the way. Kimberly is a character that I really struggle to beat, but it could be just me. I think she's just really inconsistent. Maybe that's the problem. Let's be fair and just call it an even matchup, okay? I think Jamie is probably slightly in Jamie's favor, but... Let's just call it an even match. Dalsim. What do you guys think about Dalsim? I think Dalsim is a tough one. Maybe I should have had like 5.5, right? And get rid of the 7-3 categories. Maybe we should have more categories. Dalsim's favor, 4-6. Think so? You know what? I'm gonna change it. Okay. Let's just have these categories there. I think this is, this is more interesting if we uh, were able to uh, have it uh, more like this, All right? What's the number represent? Oh, you've never seen a matchup chart before? Uh, the, the number represents the amount of matches you win in when they play 10 matches. That's basically what it means. So 3-7 means that... Um, Ryu would win 3 out of the 10 games that you're going to play. A 5-5 is even because you win 5 matches and the opponent wins 5 matches. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put Honda here now. I'm gonna put Blanca here now. This is probably a slightly bad matchup, Dalsim. I think Jury is a slightly bad matchup. I think DJ is a slightly bad matchup. I think Marisa is probably even. Lily is probably even. Is it a good match? It's not a good match. Rashid. Rashid is probably a slightly bad matchup. Akuma, I think, is actually a problem for Ryu. I think that's a 6-4. And Terry, well, I guess we'll see about Terry. Terry is not out yet. I'm not. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay. Um, I have to reconsider some of the things that I'm doing here. I think Bison. I cannot justify it being a, ba a really bad match. I think it's maybe slightly a bad matchup. Cami. Cami is even. It's not a stable matchup, but it's an even matchup. 
I think you can you 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 can order it a little bit more. And like the way it looks right now, it looks a bit boring, right? Now the real question is what needs to change about Ryu to make the matchups better? And that's a good question, and the, the answer is actually is usually complicated. The matchup against Akuma is pretty fucked, but if you touch him once, he dies. Uh, I think like I'm more upset about the inconsistency factor against Akuma than it is that I'm con like that I'm actually like unhappy about the matchup itself. The matchup itself, if you have a good read against Akuma, you can kill him off very quickly. But the, the control aspect is very much not given, you know? It's, it's just very hard to control. I do think, you know, like the upper category, let's just rename it as well. And just, I don't think there's a 7-3 matchup for Ryu. But I do think there might be 6.5 matchups. Like, if I'm gonna, like, out of the these characters, Okay, out of these characters, which one is actually, like, which ones are do actually stand out? Like, more so than the rest. I think Aki stands out, I think Ed stands out, and I think Guile stands out. Yeah, Mike, you seem to be agreeing. I think those three are particularly bad. Okay. Am I happy with this? Let me take a look again. Marisa loses 6-4. I, I disagree. Now, Ryu can actually handle Rashid. Rashid is not that fucked up for Ryu. I think it's a slightly bad matchup, but Ryu has the tools to deal, to deal with him. You don't understand how scared I am. Just because you are scared of Ryu does not mean it's a bad match. It's, it's certainly an inconsistent match. I don't think Ryu players enjoy the Marisa matchup. Nah, I think, I think, I think JP handles Ryu well. I think JP handles him well. I think he totally deserves to be up there. Okay, no, I think I'm, I'm happy with this. I think I think if there is two matchups that would call okay-ish for Ryu, it would have to be Blanca and Honda. I don't think I do really well against these two characters, but I think if you're playing really well with Ryu, you can have a slight edge over these two. And the rest? Let me see. Ken? 5-5? Five, five? I think that's fair. Manon, I'm actually thinking about Manon. I'm considering whether, like, this is potentially slightly in Manon's favor, but probably not. It's probably even. I think Manon players, they might actually argue that's a good matchup for Ryu. I disagree. Let's just put her in even. I think Kami is even. I don't like the matchup, but I, I don't think it's a bad match. Luke, I think Luke, I'm really not sure about him. And the same goes for Kimberly. Those two in particular I've not played in a long time, I feel. So, uh, it's hard to judge those two. Especially Kimberly. Kimberly might actually be genuinely be a really bad matchup for Ryu. Uh, I have a really, really bad record against Kimberly, by the way. Just so you know. Um, but I want to be fair. I think you can... The way Kimberly puts you in the corner, if you put her in the corner, she has an equally hard time getting out, right? I think Lily needs to be higher. I think Lily is a bad match? Nah. I think a lot of real players don't know how to play the matchup. I genuinely believe that's a 5-5. I was considering putting that into the good matchup category, but I don't think it's a good match. It's, it's But it's not a bad match either. It's a 5-5. No, I think I think I'm happy with this for now. I think like the more I look at it, the more it seems reasonable, you know? Yeah, there there are not many uh Kimberly's, there are not many Lilies around, so there are certain matchups that are hard to judge. But I think I'm okay with that. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking at this um on YouTube, definitely let me know what do you think. A lot of people ask me all the time about like what I think about Ryu this season. And I think the way I put the matchup chart it should be obvious that I don't think Ryu is a particularly great character. As you can see, like, he can, like, even a 4.5 matchup, you know? Um, uh, just to clarify again, like, just in case, uh, like, uh, somebody skipped, if you've never seen a matchup chart like this, 4.5 to 5.5 means Ryu wins 4.5 out of 10 matches. I mean, <laughs> th this, is a, this is a common way to put it. 
I really hope uh, most of you guys understand what I mean by this. So, in in ten matches, you're on average uh, gonna win almost five matches. So it's almost even just slightly, slightly in the other character's favor, like Dawson, Jury, um, uh, DJ, Rashid, and Bison are slightly bad matchups. And the higher you go, the worse it's gonna get. So the worst matchups are Aki, Ed, and Guile. And then down the list, it gets better. The only matchups that I consider potentially good for Ryu are Honda and uh, Blanca. And those are not great matchups, they're just slightly in Ryu's favor. So if you, if you see like the matchup chart like this, it's hard to uh, say that Ryu is a strong character, you know? Because, especially pay attention, and tomorrow, tomorrow we'll actually do a tier list overall. Some really strong characters this season happen to be really bad matchups for Ryu. Like Ed, for example, I think Aki is great now. Um, Akuma, obviously, everywhere. Uh, and so is Zangief. Zangief, uh, a new threat, happens to be a bad match for Ryu. And uh, I think that's a problem. I think that's actually a problem. Uh, Bison as well. Uh, Rashid, Bison, Rashid, those two are really, really strong this season as well. And, you know, I think the only character that Ryu does okay against that is really popular at the moment is Kami. You see Kami a lot, and at least it's not a bad match, you know? But what you're really looking for in a strong character is this matchup chart to be like, the opposite, you know, most matchups slightly in your favor instead of slightly not in your favor or, or even. And uh, yeah, maybe I should have never like put the numbers out there, just call it even, slightly, a slight disadvantage, disadvantage, heavy disadvantage, or something like that, right? Maybe that would have been better. <laughs> nah, I think most people don't get it, right? So yeah, I think I'm happy with this. If you're watching on YouTube, definitely let me know what do you think of this matchup chart. Does this reflect how you feel about, well, uh, Ryu or what would you change? Let me know in the comments below.